Wir sind hier mit äh, Arthur Grigorin und da der Pierre nicht seinen Hintern nach Holland bewegen wollte oder keine Zeit hatte vom Body Extreme, äh, machen wir jetzt ein Interview mit ihm, weil er wollte nämlich am Body Extreme dieses Jahr teilnehmen. Ähm, tell us something about your 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 career. He, he's telling it a second time because I didn't press the record button. So it's it's funny, but uh, we can do it again this time better. No problem. Okay, so uh, I start with uh, my career, I would compete in 2004, I was uh, for first time and uh, I won some uh, uh, competitions and then I decided to uh, compete uh, Mr. Holland in 2005 and uh, I won my class, it was until 90 kilo and uh, I compete uh, also the same time the overall, and I won also the overall title. And a uh, year later, in 2006, I uh, compete the uh, NRC, uh, another bond, uh, uh, also Holland, and I won. And uh, they sent me to Spain for World Championship in Benidorm, and uh, I uh, was there fifth place in uh, class uh, 2. Class 2 for your high, yeah? Yeah. and uh, in last year I did here uh, Dutch Grand Prix. I was third place. Two months, two months later, uh, the same year I did uh, in in Belgium uh, Grand Prix Belgium Brussels. Mm -hmm. So I was there for, uh, fourth place. And this year I'm uh, I want to compete uh, body extreme. So and why body extreme? Body extreme. Uh, I hear a lot of uh, good things over body extreme over the competition, and uh, it's uh, like a challenge for me to get there and uh, to compete with the guys. Um, have you seen them live, or do you know some of these guys? Um, I don't know them, but I hear a lot of. Uh, Uh, things of them, and uh, it's 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 a challenge for me to to compete with the guys because they are really good, very good. Uh, what will be your weight and uh, what's your si uh, size in centimeters? Um, my body weight. I'm on this moment. I'm 99 kilo, 199 kilo. Off season, I was 107 kilo, and I've I've now. Uh, about three weeks, so um, I don't know, maybe uh, a couple of kilos off. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the size, I don't uh, make the size or something. I, I look only the, in, the, in the mirror. No, I mean the, the size in centimeters, the height. Uh, the height, okay. The height, uh, I'm uh, 170. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, and uh, what are your strong sides? Uh, what can we expect? My strong side is um, it's uh, I hear a lot my symmetry. So uh, yeah, with the, with the, with the heart and rib, yeah. if I can get that, so maximum hardness and maximum uh, hardness. symmetry. So I think the the guys there are gonna get uh, difficult for me with me. <laughs> and uh, tell us something about your private life. Uh, are you married? Do you have children? What's your job? Uh, private life. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not married. I don't have a children. I'm uh, working a security uh, um, guy on uh, nightclubs, so uh, it's a very simple, simple life. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you uh, if you are working uh, at night, uh, how does it affect your whole bodybuilding lifestyle? Uh, yes, uh, I do this job all, almost nine years, and uh, I used to now. Uh, mm -hmm. So I work in three days in a week, four days, three days in a week. And the rest, I'm uh, the rest of week. I'm resting, and uh, so I used to now. So, uh, at, at what time do you train? Because after work, you have to sleep into the day. Into the day, and I train uh, uh, almost in the in the day in uh, uh, two o'clock, three o'clock. If I wake up, I'm gonna eat and to the gym, and then uh, back from gym, and then eat again, sleep uh, <laughs> to. Uh, 